so now she is going to zoom off from here now that she's equipped and enter Ikor military base so here's here's a fun story so the first time I played the game I pronounced it Ikor and then the second playthrough I pronounced it Ikor but honestly I have kind of gone back to calling it Ikor the Ikor military base which ironically she cannot collect the tribals here so I will not be going after them another great example now, think on this for a sec. If this is a military base, what is the most logical type of music to have? Like, you know, a military march sort of style. This is no exception. It has a really beautiful... Whoa! Percussion solo. Oh! Man! Oh, okay, I see the big guy shooting now. I did not see him the first time there. Who blew themselves up and why? That's awesome. So yeah, what is even cooler than listening to snare snare drum solos like that is actually playing them. So in reality, the uh, the part called in question like sorts of like little small rolls. So we're talking like if you have a roll of that covers an eighth note, typically that would be like whatever your tempo is, an eighth note of rolls. However, if you're like looking at this, breaking it down into sixteenths, and if you roll on thirty seconds, then you would have like four hits to a sixth or to an eighth note spot. So there we go, other side. For some reason, I thought we get the sniper rifle. So there's my uh, story for this video. Cluster bombs. As I was, oh boy, let's not die this time. And I'm all around explosive barrels, awesome. Oh man. Did you see those guts flying off one little pistol shot at a time? Oh snap, take him down with a pistol. Oh, oops. Shield guys can be so annoying. Let's just nuke them. That's what the Triforce, or excuse me, Tri Rocket launchers are for. It might not be a bad strat. Oh, sorry guys, I can't collect you this time. Look at that. They're behind an explosive barrel. Had I hit that in any spot before collecting them, they would again have gotten blown up. Rareware! Oh, that'll be logically equivalent. But remember, there's... <laughs> I love this weapon so much. Oops. <laughs> uh, good times. Thought I saw that down there. Nice. So what? Or just do it that way. Alright, so pattern on this one. Go. Man, I tell you what, this game is tight. Okay. So that's the three, and then go. Go. 
What is nice is there is a life force door, but there was just that one big brute gargantuan enemy which you can snipe off the uh, top of the ledge there. Oh yes, how could I not remember this part? This is the device that you can pay money to in order to restore your ammo. Hi, Tosh. Diamond Geezer, mercenary bot at your service. You want health, ammo, dodgy motor, insurance job, talk to me. So what can I do for you? Restore health, 5 tokens. Fill all weapons ammo, 10 tokens. Or get away from me, you awful thing. Right, so <laughs> Man, I tell you what. I am busy. Can't you see I'm a little busy? That's on a movie too. What movie's that on? take a few hits. There's a little metallic clank. Alright, forget the minigun dudes. Don't need to destroy them. Alright, now here is the true blue boss door. So here we have ammos for everything. So let's see how we do. First, we must endure a very long opening cinematic, but really cool music, ambient music. That's can't speak for. Oh, this is so funny. I can't believe she fell into our trap. See if I can whip through this boss fight as fast as I did Juno's, though. I don't think I can. Guess what's coming up behind you, Vila? Don't look behind you. Look behind you. No, don't look behind you. Oh yeah, those explode, so you have to like, get out of the way.
like those guys all remain flashing, so we'll try to take... Oh, nice! Take those out first. Ha! Alright, what's next? I'm not exactly sure what's being vulnerable. It looks like his whole body is flashing, though. Oh, it is! Alright, cool. Man, I'm down to like half health already. vulnerable now? I don't, I don't know, it hasn't flashed. But it also hasn't attacked me at all either. Traumatizing for Vila. She has a mental breakdown. Her uh, feminine disposition. It was just. She's gonna need therapy later in life. breakdown. She's just like, I killed this giant bug. I'm gonna need therapy. And thus, enter our service animal. So it's all Rareware's fault for the world. Uh, hey, Lupus! Mizar knows we're gunning for him. So things got pretty heated back there. The spawn ship, look at that security. There's no way we'll both make it on board. What the? Lupus, it's leaving. No time to argue, boy. You're faster. Go, head for one of those cargo ramps. Don't worry, I'll cover you, hurry. Nice. 
So I bet you never knew. 1998, Rareware once again predicted the future, and they realized that uh, in the future, everyone would have mental breakdowns, and so everyone, other than blind people, would need service animals. Because when Lupus was there and comforted Vila, she's good to go now. Awesome. Another half hour chunk there, and we weren't even going for tribals. But we'll be back. Yeah.